Two very big words. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Liberty Loop. I'm your host, Chuz, coming at you from the Liberation Station, here to talk about the radical left demon rats. So, they've done it before. They're going to do it again. So as you can tell here, I've got retweets with comments here. Michael Knowles put out a tweet that kind of proved that the Democrat Party is evil, that the radical left doesn't know what they're doing, that the radical left is evil, full of Satan. And uh, you, as you can see here, you got all these people out here talking about how the radical left, that's not the radical left, that's not the radical left, but let's go look at this. So... The context is Michael Knowles was responding to someone else who said, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember watching 170K people die from a virus or nearly 50 million Americans losing their jobs under the radical left Democrats leadership. And then Michael Knowles, again, I just want to give a shout out to Michael Knowles. His, he, his ability to kind of cut through the noise, get rid of all the bullshit. It's just, I think it's really interesting. I think it really is like very profound how we just can just nail it every single time i definitely recommend following michael knowles but michael knowles says you are wrong so i'll correct you 675,000 americans died from a virus under our most radical left democrat president or as i would say demon rat and so this is woodrow wilson who was a radical left demon rat who was the president in like the 1910 20s something like that i don't know i wasn't alive back then and one thing about the radical left that they don't want you to know is that the radical left demon rat party is responsible for the birth of the second iteration of the Ku Klux Klan. So I got an article here from history.com. And if you just look up Woodrow Wilson, you find out that the guy's not that great. He's not a good guy, but again, he was a radical left demon rat. And this is the thing that y'all don't understand. And I'm going to read this article here for you. Is the Democrats, I know they don't like to tell this part. They don't like this part of the story, but the Democrats founded the KKK. The Democrats and Woodrow Wilson's radical left agenda brought the second iteration of the KKK to the mainstream. And so I'm just going to read a little bit of this article here because, again, this is profound history that the demon rats don't want you to know. The demon rats talk about, oh, we're the party of progressives. We're doing this. Look at us. We got a black woman as a vice president. Look at us. We're so progressive. Meanwhile, they're trying to cover up their own history. So, history is usually written by the winners. But that wasn't the case when Birth of the Nation was released on February 8, 1915. In just over three hours, D.W. Griffith's controversial epic film about the Civil War and Reconstruction depicted the Ku Klux Klan as valiant saviors of a post-war South ravaged by northern carpetbaggers and immoral freed blacks. The film was an instant blockbuster, but with an innovative cinematography and a confederate skewed point of view, the birth of a nation also helped rekindle the KKK. So you might be thinking, you know, the South, all that stuff. I'm from the South. I'm from the heartland here in, in North Carolina where our demon rat governor is trying to force everyone to give up their freedoms and wear a mask when they go outside. I don't even own a mask. The only mask I got is a sleep mask right here because I, like I have problems sleeping sometimes. You know, But that's not important right now. But either way, this is what they don't want you to know. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. So, adapted from the book The Klansman by Thomas Jixon, Jixon Jr., who was a classmate and a friend of President Woodrow Wilson. The birth of a nation portrayed Reconstruction as catastrophic. It showed radical Republicans encouraging equality for blacks, who in the film are represented as uncouth, intellectually inferior, and predators of white women. And this racist narrative was widely accepted as historical fact. And again, this is one of those things. Is the Republicans back then, just like they are now, were pro-equality. The Republicans tried to do back then what President Trump has been trying to finish all right in this moment, is give finally full equality to the black people in the United States of America. You've had Bill Clinton, you know, who basically, he signed the, the, demon, rat, the demon rat crime bill that Joe Biden ran on. Joe Biden signed and he's running for president. He signed the demon rat crime bill. 
And then you got George W. Bush, who, you know, he had his faults. He wasn't the greatest guy, but, you know, he was definitely a lot better than Bill Clinton. By the way, there's recent photos of Bill Clinton doing naughty things with children that you may be looking into. But either way, you got George W. Bush, tried his best, you know, he did the no child left behind, tried to force equality for blacks, you know, it was a great thing. And then you had the black president, demon rat, Barack Hussein Obama, who, by the way, I'm still at this point, I don't even know if he was born in these United States. Is Hawaii even really a state? I mean, it's not really connected to the country. Even if he was born in Hawaii, I mean, does that really count? I don't know. Anyway, another thing about this is I want to give you all a through line of history here. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, another demon rat, actually started talking about Hawaii a lot more during the Second World War when the Japs attacked Pearl Harbor. Now, back then, Hawaii wasn't a state. And what... FDR did was he actually propelled the media to talk about Hawaii as if it was a state. And I think that it is all actually, I think the whole thing, I never really thought about this before, but the whole thing with him trying to make Hawaii seem like it's something we should care about to justify us going into war. By the way, FDR had concentration camps. They don't want you to know about that either. But I think what that was all was a setup. Because he wanted someone to be burned from Hawaii and then would become president of the United States. So I think, you know, I'm just kind of spitballing here. But anyway, back to Woodrow Wilson. Um, obviously, I mean, again, back to Barack Hussein Obama real quick. He's a black president, and he did less for blacks than any other president in the history of this country. I mean, again, even Andrew Johnson, who was a demon rat drunkard, even he did more for black people. He helped go through reconstruction, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's just unbelievable. So again, you got demon rat Woodrow Wilson showing the birth of a nation portrayed reconstruction as catastrophic. And it is a friend of Woodrow's. And then Woodrow Wilson, I forget where it is in this article, let me control F. Uh, because I'm not going to read this whole thing, but hold up. Yeah, here we go. Thomas Dixon Jr. convinced President Wilson to screen the movie inside the White House. Arguably the first time this was ever done. President Wilson reportedly said of the film, It is like writing history with lighting. And my only regret is that it all is so terribly true. So again, Woodrow Wilson showing out a, a film that promoted the birth of the Q Klux Klan. Meanwhile, you got the modern version of the Ku Klux Klan, BLM, Black Lives Matters, right? You got the modern version, the fourth or fifth iteration. I think this is the second iteration. And then there was like a third iteration. And I think BLM is like kind of the fourth iteration. If, uh, if Joe Biden gets elected, we're going to have the fourth iteration of the Ku Klux Klan with the fourth rock. And this is one thing that these people, they don't, like, again, you see all these people talking to Michael Knowles. Look at that. They're dumb. You're dumb. Yet, meanwhile, he just exposed the whole through line of the radical left demon rat agenda just with a single tweet. So, again, Michael Knowles, definitely shout out to Michael Knowles. Again, if you if y'all are following me, I mean, my little channel's got, like, got 100 viewers a, a video or so. Michael Knowles is much more popular than me. But if y'all if y'all don't follow Michael Knowles, I'd highly recommend to follow Michael Knowles. And, uh, again, it's just one of those things where the demon rats just want, they, they want to cover up history they don't want you to know about. Joe Biden, crime bill, you know, Hillary Clinton calling black people super predators, you know, they don't want you to know that. You know, Barack Hussein Obama, or Obongo, as I like to call him, born in a state that even shouldn't even be a state, but it's a state anyway because FDR's radical demon rat agenda. And, again, it's just one of those things. They don't want you to know. They want to cover up this history. So that's why I made this video, you know, just, again, talking about Woodrow Wilson. And uh, he's not that great of a guy. So, again, just throwing that out there, just saying, you know, you got you to gotta know history. Because history is it, important to understand because everyone's saying Trump this, Trump is bad, he's so evil. Yet, he's continuing the legacy. Like Trump said himself, you know, Trump is probably done more for black people with the possible exception of Abraham Lincoln. And again, Abraham Lincoln was killed because of the things he was doing for black people. So again, that's a high honor. But again, Radical Left at it again. Thank you all for watching. And uh, Radical Left, this is my message to you. So stupid. So stupid. Thank you. Thank you. So stupid. So stupid.